but it's wordy and hard to read. It undermines- When I was nine, things were- So today is gonna be another react to videos, animated stories. Um, this girl's dad is a psycho. Don't know how. So let's find out. We're nice, except dad was cheating on our mom and even broke some of my sisters and my toys when he was angry. But when he was calm, he was really fun and still our dad too. We loved him. But one day, he left our house, walked out the door, and never came back. It broke my family's heart, especially since my sister Tammy is kind of crazy and difficult to deal with for my mom. I kept writing my dad letters at the address oh, a friend told us he was crazy. staying at, but he never responded. He even sent back one of our letters all ripped up. As I got older, I kept expecting him to show up and come back, or at least get in touch. But he never did, until I was 17, that is. My sister was genius level smart, but liked to use her smarts to pull off crazy antics. One day, I decided to film some of my sister's stunts. With some of her friends, she had organized a big race through Costco, with bikes and everything. Later that night, I had an argument with my sister over her inconsiderate actions. She just laughed again and dared me to post the video, so I did. The next few days were pretty normal. My mom and I went grocery shopping together, and my sister and I argued. Until one day, while we were walking to school, a girl approached us. She asked Aww. my sister if she was the one from that Costco bike video. She showed the video, and I couldn't believe it. My video had over 700,890 views. Over the next few days, my video got more and more popular. I even got a bunch of subscribers. Some were angry, saying how my sister and her friends should be punished for what they did. A lot wanted to see more videos, though. I wasn't sure what to think. I posted a new video. It got thousands of views. The next day, it had half a million, and the Costco bike video had even more. I hey, also had a message from TikTok going. that I would now be verified and could earn ad money on the videos. We also got offers from places like Walmart and McDonald's for us to do stunts at their locations for PR. Maybelline wanted us to be the faces of their next ad geared at teens, and we said yeah, yes. That our mom is. wasn't sure what to think and wasn't pleased about our highway picnic stunt, but Tammy promised to tone it down. So mom agreed that we could keep up our video thing. Over the next few weeks, I filmed more and more of my sister's crazy antics. How she started a spaghetti fight at school. How she brought a ladder into a movie theater and watched like a whole movie with it. Strange. How she paid a parking ticket on a piece of toilet paper. Crazy stuff like that. And our video views and subscriber count boomed and boomed. So did our TikTok revenue. My mom made us open a savings account and put some of the money in there. I spent some on charities and mutual funds. But Tammy spent all of hers on stupid stuff, like a marble toilet and some designer clothes. After another few weeks, hey, we even got on the news for being overnight TikTok sensations. The next day, my dad called us up. We couldn't believe it. He apologized for being away for so long and said he was ashamed and figured oh. he had left things too long. He said that so he wanted to see us back now. now. My mom wasn't so sure what to money. think. I was suspicious and found it really convenient that my dad decided to show up now of all times. Mm. But I miss my dad and Tammy really wanted to go. So we agreed to see him that weekend. That weekend... My dad yeah, took us out for Dairy Queen in. Sundays and told us about what he had been up to since he left us. He was living on welfare and cried a lot, telling us that he was so ashamed he had just left his family yeah, how yeah. he did. He claimed that the but stress of having to provide for us gets... and having a terrible mother had just yeah. done him in. We had never heard anything about our grandma Beatrice being horrible and beating him, how he described. But my dad's tears looked real. When he asked to see us the next weekend, claiming that he even had ideas for future pranks nice. with us, Stop we agreed. I didn't really buy it, though. Guys. Grandma Beatrice was the coolest woman I knew. And I thought it was pretty convenient dad was coming up with all of this now. But my sister was really psyched about having seen him and at having the prospects of having new ideas for pranks, since I didn't come up with many myself. I tried convincing my sister, but she wouldn't listen to anything against our dad. Even called me jealous since he had complimented her on her fearlessness. The next few weeks, I refused to see my dad. Tammy and him came up with a few prank ideas together, like filling our high school with balloons and switching out our local barber's toupee. These videos did well, like but did I was still suspicious. Tammy and I still hung out and went shopping together downtown. That night, Wait, we were on our way home who in the we right saw our dad. He didn't see us, though. He was very drunk with his back to us, sitting on a patio, cell. surrounded by beer bottles with a friend. He was telling her how the only reason he had come back was to make a fortune off his famous stupid kids. He was laughing about he had lied about his mom wow. being terrible and fed us a sob story that we had bought hook, line, and sinker. 
My not sister and I hurried home. I was upset, but not overly surprised. Tammy was completely enraged though. At home, she was determined to get revenge on our dad. She created a list of crazy revenge ideas, including mummifying him with toilet paper, covering him with honey, and dumping well, him in the middle great. of a bear filled forest. Oh, Her babe. other ideas, <laughs> like duct taping him to the ceiling of a porta potty, were equally evil. I had to talk sense into her. Is Finally, it, she agreed on a less serious work. idea for revenge that included public humiliation and that we could even cash in on too. The day of, mom was visiting our aunt Beatrice, so it was the perfect time. Dad came over around 7 p.m. for what we told him was a late dinner in the basement. We had told him that we had had it renovated since he was here. That was why. The, base. the basement was still in its creepy unfinished state, filled with my mom's weird antique doll collection, which dad had hated when Ew, he had lived I, here years ago. We lured barely. dad to the basement with texts, then shut the door behind him and cut the lights. Then we started filming with our night vision camera. Dad flipped out. He started yelling and running around, knocking things over. My sister was on one of the shelves, and right when my dad had calmed down, dropped mom's creepiest limbless doll right on him. Him. He screamed like a baby and ran to the door, crying and begging to be let out. Once he opened the, the door, he ran out of the costume. house, swearing, crying, and blubbering like a baby. Best part of all, we had it all on camera. Once we posted our video of dad freaking out from being in the basement, it was our most popular video yet. It got over 2 million views. That night, when we got home from school, mom was waiting for us with a worried frown. Turns out, dad was suing us for mental trauma received from the basement. He was trying to claim that he now had post-traumatic stress from our prank and even had an old sleazy lawyer friend who was willing to go to court with this. Mom was wow. upset with us and worried, while Tammy wanted to enact her toilet paper, honey, and bear plan. I managed to talk her down to a more reasonable idea. Unfortunately for my dad, a quick Google search found that his lawyer friend anyway. was a third-rate crook who was a passable lawyer, but nothing more. Tammy and I, on the other hand, could afford the best money. lawyer that money could buy. <laughs> this work. lawyer was handsome, talented, and as good as they come. In court, it took only a few hours for him to annihilate the so-called case of my dad and get him literally laughed out of court. He even got a small spot in the local newspaper mocking him too. Tammy and I were thrilled, and my mom was so relieved. Little did we know that this wasn't the end of my dad's nonsense. A few days later, he appeared on a talk show special, focused on a tell-all about Tammy's and my childhood, about how we were such terrible, homicidal kids that we drove him away. Oh. Tammy and I couldn't believe what we were seeing. Dad was making he up lies, son. like that we had pinned him to a wall and thrown knives at him. And the host and audience actually seemed to be believing him. On our videos and emails, Ow. Tammy and I started to get threatening, angry messages. At school, some people even started avoiding us. Tammy would just yell at the people who were avoiding us, but I could hardly look at them. We knew that we had to do something. The lawyer had actually hit it How off with my mom and we're dating. Kids. He suggested we sue our dad for libel. I just wanted all this drama to be over with, but we clearly needed to drive away our dad once and for all. So, we sued our dad $500,000 for all the lost subscribers and revenue. Dad kept appearing mm -hmm. on more talk shows and telling ridiculous stories about us. How we'd tried to bury him alive, crazy stuff like that. And had his sleazy lawyer friend it's come on to back up his wild. stories too. My mom was devastated. It was starting to get awkward going into public. Tammy wasn't doing great either. She broke her leg while trying to do a running jump onto the back of a moving train. I tried talking to her and making her see sense, but she was determined to keep doing crazier and crazier stunts, especially to show up dad. I knew she wouldn't calm down until we figured out the situation with our dad. Finally, Tammy and I had an idea. We got together a bunch of dad's former friends and associates to testify that he was an all-around bad guy, complete with a mugshot from when he got convicted from lying a decade ago. It wasn't long before apologies were flooding in and our subscriber count shot back up. Tammy and I were glad, but we Aww. just wanted some peace for a while. The next week, Tammy and I thought things were back to normal. We didn't make any videos, but we had a nice week with my mom. She was happy too, since things were getting serious with the lawyer, who was a good man. There was no sign of our dad either. When we came home from school one day though, all that changed. Dad was camped outside our house. As soon as he saw Tammy and I, he beelined for us and started crying about how sorry he was, how he was a changed man, oh, how we had yummy. to forgive him. Tammy and I could hardly bear to look oh, at him. Geez. My okay. dad claimed that he had been to church and seen the error of his ways. I told oh, my dad geez. that if he was really sorry and wanted the best for us, then he'd leave us in peace. But he told us that he couldn't bear the guilt, that we had to forgive him. Tammy and I finally had to leave since he wouldn't listen to reason. Inside the house, mom and us tried to have a normal dinner, but dad was still 
still sitting on the lawn in his dirty clothes, camped out. We figured he would get bored or hungry eventually, so we decided to just leave him be. Over the next few weeks, though, no. he stayed there like a leech. Nothing worked to budge him. We tried calling the cops for trespassing, the next but since his weeks. name was still on the house's lease, they couldn't get rid of him. We even tried paying him off, but he kept demanding more and more money. We Wait, finally managed to get a restraining lately. worker on him, but when the cops showed up, he managed to dodge them every time. Mom was distraught. We had no clue what to do. I couldn't go on like this. Tammy and I sat down with my mom and talked about what we could do. It really seemed like our dad wasn't going to leave us alone until we were as broke and miserable as he was. But I had a plan. We had all that money in our savings account from our TikTok videos, and money was still pouring in. We needed to move to a fancy gated community. Mom wasn't totally swayed, since she wanted us to stay humble and save that money for college. But once we ran the numbers, she saw that we would still have enough for really good schools, even after buying the house. So she agreed. Moving day, we were filled with nervous anticipation. There had been no sign of our dad, but we knew that he would turn up eventually. Once everything we owned was packed, lo and behold, dad shows up. He was very drunk and laughed at us, saying that we would never get rid of him. We laughed right back at him, then drove away. He tried running after our car, but of course couldn't he catch up. Running. Our new house was beautiful, two times the size of our old one, with a magnificent infinity pool. Tammy, my mom and I were so psyched. Every so often, we'd hear about how my dad would try sneaking in, but he never could get past the gated community security. Tammy and I kept making videos of us roller skating through fancy restaurants, using a pizza for frisbee, silly stuff like that. <laughs> Our subscriber count kept going up and up. Mom even married the lawyer. Life was good, better than good. It was fantastic. Everything wasn't perfect though. Now that we were so famous, we were receiving criticism about our videos and their impact on our viewers. Especially since one girl got hurt after attempting to replicate Tammy's Costco stunt. Tammy tried to laugh it off, saying oh, that Tommy's everyone was getting upset over nothing. I wasn't so sure though. I filmed a video of just me, apologizing for everything and warning people not to try most of these at home. I also donated some money to the viewer who got hurt. I also started a new series of videos focusing on the history of pranks. I learned a lot of interesting facts myself. One day, we got the best news ever. Dad had been arrested for fraud and shoplifting. Once he was in custody, wow. a bunch of his other crimes caught up with him. Since leaving us all those years ago, it turns out dad had never worked an honest day in his life. Now he was going to be prosecuted with the full force of the law and pay dearly. In the end, dad was sentenced to 25 years in prison. He tried to pull the whole religion thing with the judge, but after he tried getting a crony to blackmail her into releasing him, that didn't go over well. Finally, he went to jail and stayed there. Tammy and I were overjoyed. Aww. Now, life Isn't was really that? good. We vacationed in Bali, Australia, and LA. We had a gorgeous big house and we made videos that we loved. Mom finally didn't have to work two different jobs to keep us afloat. We had enough money for college if we chose to go. But most importantly, our dad was gone from our lives for good. More than that, something inside me had been healed. I had always taken it personally that dad had left. But now I had seen what a terrible human being he was. We had been willing to give him a second chance and he had thrown it in our faces. So all you now can though, do is give I was at peace. Jump. Then you see what the route will be like. At least they got away. If it is true anyway. I don't know. But yeah, if you'd like to see more of these videos, just let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Bye for now.